Good afternoon, class, and welcome back to English 100. We are beginning our fourth and final unit today. That unit is based on research. So let's take a look. As always, you can click on the tab, and it will take you right to the module. Quite a bit of reading, so make sure you're staying on top of that. we got some quizzes, some stuff about emotion and authority, stuff about style in our writing, and some grammar quizzes and information. But I want to focus right now on some of the cumulative or preparatory assignments for our final paper. This is a, f a focused research essay. So we're going to be summarizing some sources, providing an annotated bibliography, and culminating in a research essay assignment. So a few details about this. This is the prompt. This is the assignment here. We have uh, five or four actually, sorry, four options to choose from. I'm not giving you free reign in terms of just choosing whichever topic you want, but you can choose one of these four. So I have provided uh, a starter article for each that you can use to get to your five required sources. You don't have to use it if it doesn't speak to you. But what I wanted to do is provide some specific articles that can kind of help detail how to narrow these topics down. Because I am providing the topics, but there's still a lot of room to make them more specific and more focused. And that's going to be a requirement, really. So the four topics are parasocial relationships. So you can kind of read this article and get an idea about what that means if uh, you're unfamiliar with that. Manifesting or magical thinking is another option here. Ethics of true crime. So thinking about, you know, what is this genre in terms of documentaries and fictionalized versions of true events where people are watching them as essentially entertainment? And what does that mean in terms of, you know, the people who actually were part of these crimes? the families of victims, etc. And then the last one is the kind of moment we're in. We're seeing a lot of uh, international wars and crises. And so you can develop some research around that. And each, again, each topic has a starter article that you can use if you want. You're not required to, but you do need to make sure you have five sources total the paper is going to be at least five to six pages. We are developing an argument, so you do want to think about your thesis. It doesn't have to be like a line in the sand type argument, but some type of claim. It can be a claim of policy, fact, value. There's lots of stuff in the readings about how to develop these, so make sure you're thinking about that. You need to include a works cited page because you're going to be drawing from sources all over. Okay. Uh, avoiding pla plagiarism, so make sure you're citing your sources carefully and thoughtfully. There's some other things to hear, thinking about sources, strategies, so make sure you're looking at all of this, okay, and some starter places for research. One other thing I did want to mention as I'm here today is, is the options available to you. So, of course, we all tend to go to Google, right, for our first search option but the the some of the issues with Google are, are you know just the volume of, of results that you can get usually in the millions if not more hundreds of millions tens of millions and I I don't want to discourage you from using Google but just to be aware of some of the challenges of it right I use Google all the time uh, and the articles I'm providing on the prompt are actually from Google so I'm I am all for Google but as you're going, just pay attention to something. So the first result we get from the New York Times, which is definitely reputable, it's a journalistic newspaper that is, you know, in terms of reputation, you know, it's taken some hits, but overall it's still regarded as, as a, one of the primary newspapers in the country. The Guardian's good. Something like Psychology Today is good. Then we get into things like Gabby Bernstein, which I'm assuming is kind of like a blog. Um, Health Coach Institute, usually trying to sell you something, so be careful of that, right? 
things like Vox are okay. You know, you just want to be careful when you start to get into things that are sponsored, as you see here. Sponsored. So, you know, there is an agenda here. They're trying to make money, right? Uh, if we go on to the next page, we see other stuff. You know, so the, the Atlantic is good. But then you get more things that are, like, sponsored. So you don't want to use anything that feels like it's trying to sell you something, obviously, right? Or try to promote a brand or promote, a, like, a lifestyle coach, that, which is the kind of stuff you see so much these days, right? Uh, but the other thing I want you to think about is, you know, something might come across and, and look very legit or look very useful, okay? But sometimes if you start to read a little closer or more closely, you know, you might see that there's a definite agenda here. Not selling you something so much, right? But if you just read here, um, da, 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 da. keep going, keep going. Uh, sorry, I don't know, it's fine. Basically, what I'm trying to, to, to show you with this, let me just find the um, new normal. Sorry, I, I think this might be a different one. But what I want to point out to you is that if you read this closely, you'll start to see some things that are a little questionable. So if you, if, if, if you find a site and you're not sure, go to the About section, right? Because if you look at this, new inquiry um, sur subscribers have long been reading about the world we live in. Since 2009, we've critiqued the bourgeois press, right? So you start to read and you're like, oh, huh. this is a little questionable. Like, what is, they have a very specific, very left of center perspective, which is not really going to be as useful in a research-based argument paper because you want to try and stay away from extreme biases, right? And you can read through this and you'll see a lot of, you know, very strong language about a very kind of leftist agenda, which they're not trying to sell you anything. Maybe a subscription to the magazine, but, you know, they're definitely trying to present a, a specific political perspective, which, you know, outside a research paper, that's fine. But in terms of a research paper, you want to try and strike for a more balanced approach, okay? Conversely, something like the National Review, which has been around a long time, okay, and it's got some good people writing for it, but if you go, again, there's, like, the user experience of the internet in general is kind of diminished, I think. There's so many ads on so many sites, and it's just like pop-ups, pop-ups, pop-ups. Uh, but if you go to the National Review and click down and look at more and look at about just read a little bit about it um, it's a magazine of conservative opinion so they're not here trying to present unbiased balance reporting like the new york times they're very much on the surface and telling us up front that they are presenting conservative opinions okay so you know, that is important to pay attention to. So if you're looking at sources, they need to be reputable, right? The four additional sources. If you have questions about it, look at the about page. Look at, you know, try to get a, a sense of, you know, is this source trying to lead me down a specific way of thinking? Are they trying to sell me something? Is there a clear agenda at work here, etc.? You can also go on to the library website and look at the databases there. The, the, that is not required. 
you can just go to our school's homepage and click on some the library link and and you can ask some of the librarians there for help which can be very useful uh, i do want to say that the focus research topic where you decide on the topic okay let's look at that real quick that's coming right up so make sure you're you're thinking about which topic you don't you don't have a, a ton of time so you have four topics to choose from i want you to to get it down to a very specific focus so you're already thinking about how to take this rather broad topic and narrow it down to something that you can actually start researching okay so i'm going to let you go now it's kind of a long video please let me know if you have any questions and we'll go from there all right take care